दादनों को लाने थी
हेलो हेलो पूर्वा अभिषेक या सो यू कैन स्टार्ट द सेशन ओके सो सम मोर पीपल विल ज्वाइन दे कैन ज्वाइन इन मिडिल एंड या सो यू कैन स्टार्ट द सेशन एंड या सो वेवर विल ज्वाइन दे कैन ज्वाइन इन मिडिल ओके बेस्ट ऑफ लक sounds good thank you abhishek yeah okay so good morning everyone first of all i would like to thank you uh, thank all of you for joining this uh, webinar and taking your time to attend this session i really want to make sure that uh, this session turns out to be useful for you so let's get started now as we all know that we all are here to learn salesforce or to know salesforce now before i start my uh, webinar i want to take some time to understand how many of you knew how many of you know salesforce already and how many are of you are new just type yes or no in the chat so that i can get an idea that uh, how many of you already know salesforce okay thank you for your response Okay, keep them coming. Thank you. okay cool thank you all for your wonderful response on the chat so as i can see here that the majority of people are new to salesforce so that means they want to learn salesforce now as i can see that uh, most of you are you know you have the urge to learn salesforce but why you have chosen salesforce there are so many technologies out there but still you have chosen to select uh, salesforce davin could you please mute yourself or abhishek can we please mute all the participants who are, whoever is joining okay thank you yes so there are so many technologies out there but still we all want to learn salesforce and the crowd which i can see here in this webinar proves that why salesforce is a number one crm so i'm going to walk you through why you have to choose salesforce what career path is available in salesforce and how you can enhance your knowledge of salesforce so let me quickly share my screen i have prepared a ppt a presentation so that i can walk you through what exactly salesforce is and how it's going to be useful in order to make your careers and those who already know salesforce how you can grow more into this industry so let me share my screen allow me a minute okay so i hope my screen is uh, visible now so today we are going to talk about what is crm what are the crm basic entities what is salesforce.com why we need to use salesforce.com so first of all crm uh, it stands for uh, customer relationship management and there are lots of crms available in the market 
uh, like we have uh, Siebel, we have uh, Microsoft Dynamics, and there are lots of CRMs available. Salesforce.com is one of the CRM which is available in the market, but somehow it has some different features uh, as compared to other CRMs. That is why this platform is known as number one CRM. Now, before we jump into some uh, technical languages, because you know, uh, Salesforce is not something, not for something who already know coding. It is also for those candidates who want to opt for a technology, but who do not have any technical background. So I, you know, uh, I get so many questions. There are candidates who keep on asking me that uh, if I don't have any experience of coding, then how can I learn Salesforce? Will I be able to learn Salesforce? So the answer to that question is yes, because even I am, I have a technical background, but still, it was very easy for me to learn Salesforce. I started my career eight years back um, into Salesforce industry and still I'm learning and growing into this Salesforce. And I can say that I'm definitely never going to leave Salesforce technology. Even if I get the offer for a senior position or something like that, I don't choose that because I don't want to leave my technology because I know that Salesforce is something which you know, it, it gives me interest to work in this uh, Salesforce industry. It doesn't like, the, it's not like that I'm working into Salesforce and it's just a job, nine to six job, which I'm doing. No, I have interest into working this field. So those who have already started learning Salesforce, they will know that how interesting this platform is. And the look and feel of that platform is also really great as compared to other CRMs. Now let's talk about what is uh, Salesforce. Now, let me explain you uh, the terminology of Salesforce with a very basic example. We all uh, organize our cupboards at home, right? So what you do is you keep your uh, clothes in an organized manner. For example, you keep your shirts in different section, then you keep your trousers in different section. And also you uh, keep your uh, other stuff, footwear and other stuff into different sections. So you don't keep the clothes in one place and keep it messy, then it looks messy, right? So that's not a good practice. Same way, we have Salesforce where we can categorize our data into different categories. So it's a cloud-based application, which Mark Benioff, who is the CEO of Salesforce introduced in 1999, where businesses can store their data on a cloud-based application. Now, let me give you another example that what features Salesforce has and how businesses are making it useful and why there are lots of jobs available. So after this, uh, once I explain you what is Salesforce, you will understand the different uh, career paths also, which I'm going to walk you through so that uh, you don't have any confusion that whether to choose Salesforce and what profile to choose in Salesforce. I'll also let you know about the uh, packages which are, there, which are there in the market. Okay, so another example which I have is, for example, I have a factory where I'm selling biscuits, okay? Now, when I'm selling a product, I'm selling something, I have to start it from marketing. I am going to market my uh, product into different industries or different market, right? I have to um, arrange or manage, uh, organize some of the campaigns, campaigns are nothing but the events or the exhibitions where I'm going to uh, offer different types of products into the market, right? That is called marketing. So Salesforce provides you the best platform for marketing where you have the lead management in place. You will be able to utilize it to the best and you can create your ads and customize your emails if you want to send some customized or personalized email to your customers that you have you have uh, different types of biscuits available in the market who is not the similar one which others are selling so how you can make the best use of salesforce it's up to you but this is the best platform where you can do the marketing of any of the product so let's say if i have a biscuit factory i will do the marketing which will be done through salesforce and after that, what I will do is, this is the whole process, right? First, we do the marketing of the product. And then after that, we will sell it to the customers. After we have done marketing, now we are going to sell it to customers. This is called sales process. Now, sales process, sales process is also defined in Salesforce in that way. You have opportunities, you have leads, uh, you have accounts, 
and you have contacts. So accounts and contacts, you can keep your uh, customer data safely into accounts and contacts. Okay, people are chatting, just give me a minute. Okay, so then after sales process, you will have products, pricing and quotations. You will have to decide some uh, pricing of your products that uh, how many quantity of biscuits you have to sell. And then distributors and resellers will also be uh, involved into this process because you are not going to sell each and every packet of biscuits separately to your customers. You will have to involve some resellers and distributors where you will sell some uh, major quantity of your biscuits to them and then they will distribute it to customers. And that's how you will divide the profit. You will send some quotations to your customer. Then you will uh, talk to your customer and uh, agree to some pricing that this is the pricing of your biscuit, which you offer, but your customers may not agree to that. So that is uh, negotiation. All that process, this is a whole cycle, right? This whole cycle can be managed in Salesforce. So this is the uh, most important advantage of Salesforce that you have everything into this platform. If you talk about uh, other CRMs, they're also good. I'm not denying the fact that uh, there, are, there are no other CRM apart from Salesforce, which is not doing good. But why Salesforce is best is because it already has uh, all the features which will be used by a business to run it and grow faster. Apart from that, it also has some inbuilt platforms where you will be able to create your own applications also. Let's take another example of a mobile phone. You all, you all use your mobile phones, right? So whenever you want to purchase a new phone, you will go to a store and uh, whether you are an Android user or you are an iPhone user, based on your choice, you will buy the phone. After you buy the phone, still you're not happy with some of the apps which your phone has. Example, you have, you have purchased the best phone in the market, but still you need some more games or some more personalized wallpapers, or if you need something extra, you always have App Store and Play Store in place because you can go to your App Store and Play Store and download the application and start enjoying it. So that's, that is how Salesforce is also built in a that way that if you're not happy or if you are not uh, using the customized or the standard version of Salesforce, you can customize Salesforce completely. So I'll move on to the next slide and then I will uh, help you understand more that what kind of industries are using Salesforce and how they're using it. So as I mentioned that uh, Salesforce CRM provides a complete solution for that includes feature-rich solutions for marketing, sales, services, partner management, and community management. Then CRM is originally software for managing customer interaction, such as scheduling tasks, emailing, texting, and many more, because the sales process of that biscuit factory example, which I just shared with you, it will have uh, some involvement of your customer interaction where you will send some emails to your customers that uh, I hope you're happy with the product and just let us know if you like the taste of the biscuit or if there is some issue in the biscuit, you will get in touch with your cu uh, customers. So this whole process you can automate in Salesforce. You don't have to uh, you know, manually track each and every stage and there will be separate set of employees who will be working into different uh, sections one will be delivery partners who will be delivering the biscuits to your customers others will be sending emails to the customer so there are lots of people involved but salesforce is a one platform where you can work on anything and other crms which is there in the market sometimes you may not have one feature like emailing is not available in one of the feature, then you will have to install something else and then go for another software. But Salesforce is one of the platform which has everything in it, okay? So it grew, Salesforce grew into a cloud software solution and acquired several other companies also, uh, which is for uh, platform as a service and software as a plat service. So now what is software as a service is? It's a cloud-based application where your data will be stored in a cloud. That means you will never have data loss. That's also one of the advantage of using Salesforce, that the data is stored in a cloud. 
then it also has a platform as a service. That means Salesforce also gives you inbuilt platform who wants to become Salesforce developers. They have an inbuilt platform like force.com. So you can create your own and develop your own applications into that platform. You don't have to integrate to any other platform. Okay, now this is all which you can do through Salesforce automation. All these things which you see here on the screen is uh, something which I already explained in the example that you can do the marketing profiling, then you can do the prospecting where you will contact your customers through Salesforce. And then you will do the opportunity management. That means you will uh, work on the deals with your customers, whether they're happy with the product or if they want something else, what kind of biscuits they want. You will not be selling one type of biscuit, right? You will have different flavors of biscuits. It, it's a biscuit factory. So you can deal all of that in Salesforce in a good way. Then you have sales activity management. So for example, if I have raised a complaint today and uh, nobody is getting in touch with me in next 24 hours or 48 hours and I keep on waiting, this is quite frustrating, right? So Salesforce gives you a feature where you will be able to send uh, or set some reminders or tasks for you where you will not uh, forget anything if you want if you have a follow up with your customer after a year if you want to follow up whether they want the same set of biscuits or not then you can set reminders for you obviously after a year you will forget that uh, you have a follow up with your customer so salesforce has the best uh, calendar task and activity management then you have forecast sales analysis so when it comes to this process of selling some products we have the forecast, uh, forecasting thing in place, right? You will have some uh, forecast in your mind that this much budget I have for this particular year, which I have to achieve. This is also one of the best forecasting tool in the market, which you can use in the form of Salesforce. Then we have assets available. So let's let's say you are selling uh, biscuits, but you're also selling some cookies, or there are some some subcategories of uh, biscuits in your factory. So assets will give you an option to store all of that information into Salesforce. Then you have annual sales planning, same as forecast sales analysis, you can plan your sales. Then you have contracts also. Uh, if you are selling a major quantity of biscuits to your resellers or distributors, then you will have to sign some contracts with them and uh, that you have sold these many biscuits and this is the proof of uh, purchase and all. So you have the best uh, place to store all these information also into Salesforce. And you can do email management. I just uh, told you a few minutes back that uh, you can send some of the emails which are customized and personalized one to your customers. Like we, we all use Ola and Uber applications and whenever we book a cab, we get automated emails. Thank you for booking Ola cab with us. And if you raise any concerns, then also we get some emails. So all this email management thing can be done into uh, Salesforce. Then we have uh, expense management where you can choose and plan your expenses in, into different uh, currency. Now, Salesforce is a platform which is not only used in one region. It can be used worldwide, right? There are uh, people who are working in US. They're using same Salesforce org, which India users are also using. So this can be tracked into different currencies. If we are selling some of the biscuit products into India, we will sell it in our currency. If they're selling it in US, they will sell it in dollars. So all this expense management and currency management feature is also available in Salesforce. Then we have support. Now, whenever we are selling something, we have complaints from customers, right? All this customer service support feature is also available in Salesforce. And trust me, it's the best platform. I've also worked in uh, many of other CRMs. And I've seen that uh, the sub Salesforce uh, service support, which is given by Salesforce is the best one across the market. Then we have measuring key matrix where you will be able to choose uh, your key matrix and you can measure them, how it's going, how your sales team is performing and all that. Then you have event management thing also. As I said, you can uh, organize events. You can uh, create some campaigns for uh, marketing. So as you can see, all of this, these things are available in Salesforce. So that is why you can do a lot of things in uh, Salesforce. Now you will think about, uh, there are lots of things, but are you going to learn all of it? 
No, because as a technical uh, admin of Salesforce or be it other profiles of Salesforce, you will be working as the backend of all these processes. So it, if you talk about the jobs in Salesforce, you have to make sure that you manage and organize all these things into Salesforce from the backend to make this smooth and running for your customers. That is the main job of a Salesforce techie, okay? So uh, if you talk about the um, syllabus that uh, what all uh, major feature Salesforce has, then you have all these topics, but I'm going to come to this slide later because I want to explain you these uh, clouds first. Now, as you know that uh, Salesforce is a cloud-based application. Now, why I want you to go through these clouds is because there are lots of um, positions into market and we always get confused that some people are asking, do you know sales cloud? Do you know service cloud? Do you know marketing cloud? And people come to me that uh, if you're teaching Salesforce, then uh, will I be covering everything? So that's why you need to understand that why Salesforce gives you platform to store your data into separate clouds. Now, cloud is nothing. It doesn't mean that uh, if you go for marketing cloud, so you will have a different Salesforce. Your Salesforce look and feel and user interface is always the same for every cloud. But what they have done is they have given you separate cloud so that if there is one of the company who is only working on marketing, they are not uh, doing the selling of product, then what they will do with sales cloud. So that is why I have introduced marketing cloud where you can get the best features of marketing. Then you have commerce cloud. It is the newly launched cloud in Salesforce. This is primarily used for online shopping. If you want to um, track your uh, online business into Salesforce, you have this commerce cloud in place, which Amazon, Mintra, Flipkart, they all are using now Salesforce. Then you have service cloud and sales cloud. Sales cloud is something which I already explained. The whole process of selling your product, starting from marketing, selling, and quotation and products and pricing, all the process is included into sales cloud. Then service cloud will be included when it comes to only providing customer service. So sales cloud and service cloud are free of cost. Salesforce gives you these two clouds by default. Whenever you uh, your customers are purchasing Salesforce, then they will get the sales cloud and service cloud by default. For marketing cloud and commerce cloud, um, you will have to pay something extra in order to purchase these clouds. Now, you as in, because you all are attending this webinar, not for purchasing Salesforce, you will not be purchasing Salesforce, but you should know that who purchases it and what they do with Salesforce. So that is why I'm giving you all the information so that you will understand that how Salesforce is, uh, you know, growing a lot in, into the market. So these are some of the basic reasons which I have explained that why people are using a lot of Salesforce, uh, why people are using Salesforce a lot and because of which it has um, a number one place into the world. And this is why you have lots of job options available in Salesforce too. Now, yesterday also, I got one uh, question on LinkedIn that uh, uh, which Salesforce, uh, which CRM should I choose? Whether I should choose Salesforce or I should choose Oracle. So wh whenever you have this kind of confusion, just try to track the business of the CRM with, which it is doing. Try to track their revenue. You will... Uh, you will get the answer to your question by yourself only. That if Salesforce is doing the best in the market, then of course you will have better career options if you choose Salesforce. So if you have uh, any confusion like that, that if you should choose Salesforce or not, and what will happen if you choose Salesforce, then this is the right platform for you. Please feel free to uh, start learning and enhance more enhance more skills of Salesforce. And trust me, you all will get the uh, better career options into Salesforce because there are lots of profiles into uh, Salesforce ecosystem. And uh, those who know coding, they can be the developers. Those who don't know coding, there are lots of other profiles. So Salesforce has a place for every, each and every interest which you have 
um, insight. Okay, so now I'm going to move back to this slide. So this is the uh, basic uh, major categories of Salesforce, which is covered into Salesforce admin topic. Now, you also have uh, that question in your mind that whether I should do Salesforce admin or I should do Salesforce development. Now, Salesforce development and admin are not separate. It's a part of Salesforce only. Even if you want to learn development, you will have to learn admin first. Salesforce admin is something which is the basic of Salesforce. If your base is not clear, you won't be able to learn the advanced versions. Development is coding. Whatever you cannot do in admin, you will do it in development. So those who know coding, it will be easy for them to learn development. Those who don't know coding, they can still opt for uh, uh, marketing uh, for uh, admin course. And then we have different profiles. Now let me walk you through some of the different profiles which we have in the market and what are their packages. So I'll just stop sharing and share the another screen. Please allow me a minute. The page is just opening. Yeah, Purva, any problem you are getting? Yes, I'm getting one uh, error. So just give mm -hmm. me a minute. I'm, I'm just opening it in a minute. Okay, sure. Let me try to find that. Just a moment. Okay, here it is. Sorry, apologies for the inconvenience. I'm just opening it now. Thank you. 
Okay, can anyone please confirm if my screen is visible? Yes, visible. Okay. Yes, ma'am, visible. Thank you. Okay, I'll, I'll take all these questions um, at the end of the session, guys. So I'm not reading it right now. So I was explaining you about the different profiles. As you can see it on the screen, that uh, you can be a Salesforce developer or you can be a Salesforce QA or you can be a cloud professional, right? If you want to be uh, into coding, if your coding is strong, if you have technical background, then you can get this uh, Salesforce developer position. But if you still want to be into admin part and you don't want to learn coding, you don't have a technical background, then you can become a Salesforce QA. And the last one is um, you have cloud professional. All the clouds which I explained you, sales cloud, service cloud, marketing cloud, and um, commerce cloud. Now we have finance cloud as well introduced recently. So you can be a cloud professional, but for that, you have to be an expert into that particular line of business. If you are opting for a marketing cloud, then you have to make sure that your marketing part is strong. If you are opting for a sales and service cloud, then you have to make sure that your sales part is strong. You are, a, you are, you are good with uh, selling products and you know these strategies. So these are the major um, categories where you can choose what you want to start your career with. Then under this also you have a uh, common uh, profiles. Like if you want to be a developer, then you can be either a Salesforce technical architect or you can be a consultant. Now what the Salesforce technical architect does is they have to um, design the applications and build the software by themselves. And developer will be writing the codes into the system, whatever is not achievable through admin part, they will write the code and make it achievable. But technical architect will um, speak with the customer, will speak with the client, and they will build a design based on the requirement. And what does the consultant does is, we have Salesforce consultant profile available for admin and for those who are uh, into development. For both of them, Salesforce consultant profile is available. So what they do is, they build the Salesforce from scratch for the clients. Now, um, as we're talking about Salesforce consultant profile, I'm going to um, let you know that what all industries are using Salesforce. As I explained that, uh, I explained you what is Salesforce with the help of an example of a biscuit factory and uh, how you can involve the whole process from marketing to selling your product into Salesforce, right? Now, what a consultant does is if there are different types of industries who wants to use Salesforce, now sales process is available in Salesforce. If healthcare industry or if uh, there are other industry, industry, foods and beverages, agriculture industry, there are lots of other interest, industries also which have started using Salesforce. What they will do with the whole sales process. So healthcare will not be selling any product or will not be, they will basically not have any customers only. Their work is totally different from other um, industries. So if healthcare wants to use Salesforce, they will be creating Salesforce on their own. For that, they will need a consultant. Consultant will sit with the client who belongs to a healthcare industry and they will try to understand the requirements of what kind of information they want to store into Salesforce. Based on that, he will prepare Salesforce for their client and give it to them so that their staff or their employees can start using Salesforce and store healthcare information into Salesforce. So this is the job of Salesforce consultant to understand the requirement of a client and then implementing the same into Salesforce. This can be done if you know only admin or if you know development and admin both. Then you have sales cloud consultant, which is a senior level profile. If you first, you have to be a cloud professional to know about the cloud. After that, you can be the sales cloud consultant where you will be able to advise your client which cloud they should opt for. Okay. And let's move to the next page. Okay, 
So the next one is um, I have uh, created this chart for you to understand what is the pay scale for each and every profile and uh, what are the efforts required to learn each and every profile. Now, if you talk about this admin profile, you have to, uh, the pay scale is quite okay because this is for beginners. Now, if you have just passed out from your college or if you have even a career gap and you want to be a Salesforce admin, you will not get that much salary, but you will be able to learn from that phase. And then after that, just after one switch, you will be able to get a better package. So that is the, I mean, truth about the admin profile. This is a very basic profile. Even the development profile is the basic one, but that has higher pay scale as compared to admin. And efforts to learn is not very much. Admin is very easy to grasp because it's a click and point uh, kind of a platform. If you buy a new phone, then after some days you get uh, eventually habitual of using your phone, right? You know where to click uh, and how to change the wallpaper and you, know, you will get to know each and every settings of your phone in a week's time. Same way Salesforce is designed that it's just the click and points which you have to remember. Once you start practicing it, you will find it very easy to grasp. So for uh, experience, no experience is required for being a Salesforce admin. Even if you are a fresher, you can opt for this profile. Now getting an entry is, uh, as I said, easy, but they have very less openings for admins. If you're getting an admin job, it's you're very lucky to have. If you have contacts also, then also it will be very easy for you to get the job. And also there is one more uh, point which I would like to highlight here that whenever you want to learn Salesforce, make sure you find the right mentor and you be in touch with the right point of contacts because contacts are very important in Salesforce. If they know which companies are only using admin, which companies are only uh, using a development, they will be able to help you and guide you that these are the companies where you can apply and you will get the admin job easily. So make sure you get the right mentor and right um, point of contacts if you want to get the job in Salesforce. Let's move to the next page, which is for developers. As I said, the pay scale is high, efforts to learn is moderate, and especially for the person who can code, it will be easy to grasp. Then no prior experience is required. Even a fresher can apply for a developer profile. And the next profile is um, quality assurance engineer. Uh, they will just, this is just like the testing Salesforce manual testers. We have testers in other technologies as well. We have Salesforce testers also. So developers and admin will uh, design the projects into Salesforce and quality assurance engineer will test the same and give the approval if the design looks um, the same as the customer requirement or not. For this also, pay scale is good and efforts to learn is not much. You can easily grasp it because if you know admin, you will be able to do this profile as well. Now for this experience required is not necessary, but if you have a prior experience as a QA, this will be an add-on for you. Getting an entry for quality assurance engineer is also easy. So you can also choose for this profile if you, uh, if you wanna start your career with Salesforce. Next one is uh, you have a Salesforce technical architect, but the pay scale is very, very high and efforts to learn this is also very, very high because this is a combination of uh, development and uh, admin. And you have to you know, take the requirement, build the process documents, and then implement it into Salesforce, then deliver back to the client. So from start to end, you will be held responsible for deliverables. So that is why this profile has a very high pay scale. And this is a senior kind of profile, so it requires at least five years of experience. And in order to get entry into this profile, there is no direct entry, only transition within the organization or from one organization to other. So if you have, if you're already working in one organization as admin, you can be promoted for uh, Salesforce technical architect profile. And if you want to switch also from one company to another, you can be Salesforce technical architect, but you have, you should have at least five years of experience. Then the next profile is Salesforce Consultant. 
but this also the pay scale is very high and efforts to learn this is also very high because you should know each and every feature of salesforce then only you will be able to recommend to your client that you should use this this is good or this feature is bad if you don't know then you will be not be you will not be in a position to uh, recommend things to your clients for this um, you can have 3 to 4 years of experience then you can be a salesforce consultant and getting an entry as a consultant is also very difficult you have salesforce cloud professional for this profile also pay scale is very high and efforts to learn this profile is also moderate for this experience required is only 1 to 2 years and getting an entry as a cloud professional is also very difficult so for that also you should have some uh, point of contacts in salesforce so that you can be a salesforce cloud professional okay so let me see if I have So this was it about uh, Salesforce and the other profiles and career paths which we have. If you have urge to learn Salesforce, this is the right platform. I would really recommend uh, you guys to go ahead with the thought and, um, you know, you can trust me and mark my words. You're going to love this platform a lot because it's very easy to learn for anyone who doesn't even have a technical background i'm written, repeating the same thing which i shared in the beginning of this uh, webinar that it's very easy to learn for any person if you want to switch from any other uh, technology to salesforce then only you will, then also you will be able to learn this very uh, quickly so yeah whatever your interests are there is definitely a path in salesforce ecosystem this is all about um, Salesforce from my end. Now, I will uh, pass this session to Mr. Abhishek. And in the meantime, if you have any questions also, just feel free to post it on the chat and uh, I'll answer them. Thank you. Thank you, Purva. Thanks so much for your wonderful speech. So guys, after this, like we're going to start Q&A session okay, with Purva. So who have any kind of doubt or anything, they can ask with Purva, okay? Before that, I'm going to share you the link in the chat section. So that's for our app, okay? So everyone can download our app from a Google Play Store or for Apple, we have a, a different link for the app. So I'm going to share in a group. And right now I'm going to share the app link in a Google Play Store. So you can download the app, okay? And yeah, let me share right away. Yeah, so I shared the link as well. Okay. So yeah, there's an iOS app also. So in our WhatsApp group, now I'm going to share the link of uh, iOS app. Okay, the iOS app with the name of Class Plus. So you have to put the credential and you will be logging into Webshell app there. I'll share. Uh, uh, I'll share uh, iPhone app in a uh, group only, WhatsApp group. So that's our play store link for the Android app. So everyone can download. Yes. Okay, after the session is end, and uh, whoever like, uh, I'm going to share you one coupon code. So who wants to join this session? Okay, so let me explain about our session first. Okay, so we have uh, for who wants to learn the sales course, admin and development part. So duration will be like two months of the training program. Like it's a 60 hours training program, live training program, Monday to Friday. Okay, and it's a live project based training program. Even everyone have to create their own live project with us. And the live project is based on like any kind of industry. It can be like e-commerce industry, hospitality industry, or tech education industry. So you have a different, different kind of project you have to create with us. And uh, once that training is over, your uh, uh, project is over. The second stage is the resume preparation. Okay. So in a resume preparation, we're going to add the same uh, project what you're going to create with us as well as we're going to give you the intensive certificate as experience from our end why because going into the salesforce totally as a fresher i'll tell you it's a little bit tough so we're going to help you out here with the experience also 
okay so if you add the experience in your resume so your chances of shortlisting your resume it will be much higher if you go as a fresher okay now the third stage is the interview preparation okay in an interview preparation what we do there is a separate session with a trainer where a trainer going to explain you about the project summary what you have to prepare how you have to answer everything in a detail okay by project summary that's why required now you're not going as a fresher for the interview okay why because we giving you the experience from our end okay now if you go as a experienced guy for any interview interviewer definitely going to ask about your last project okay and you are totally new in it how you can explain your project so that training also given by us to you guys okay so that's uh, our uh, overall training program men uh, scenarios to make you the uh, job ready okay and uh, yeah someone is putting like uh, yeah we'll uh, give you your answer line by line okay so after the interview preparation once you guys are ready for the interviews so we have a tied up with very good companies in the client like our client is the deloitte accenture sysnic data matrix blue flame labs okay we have a direct tie up with them okay so they're just looking for people who know about the sales force who can start working into the sales force so the main purpose of training to make you the ready so you can start work inside uh, inside any kind of sales force project inside any company okay so the main purpose of training is that so let me share you the links as well okay so just hold on So just right now I shared the registration link. Okay. So first 10 people will be get the 2000 rupees discount on the course. Okay. So please click on the link who wants to register today. Why? Because class going to start from a first of June on a sales force. Okay. So who wants to, who going to register for the first of June batch, they can register and first 10 student will get the 2000 rupees discount. Okay, and remain thing uh, I'll put in a like our WhatsApp group what we create. You can ask, and now this is the QA session we're going to start. Okay, so if anyone have any doubt, any technical doubt, they can ask uh, with the Purva. Thank you, Abhishek. So I can see there are a few questions uh, people have asked already in the chat. So let me uh, answer them one by one. Okay, so let me go through it. Okay, someone has asked, is it compulsory to have this course? You have four years of experience into sales and now you're planning to move to sales for crm see so this is not of course mandatory to have this course but as a as a mentor you need to find out the right mentor for you because i've seen people are learning sales force by themselves also but there are lots of uh, online um, study material also available you'll get the videos of sales force very easily on uh, youtube but if you have any questions or if you have if you want to clear your concepts you have to find out some mentor who can help you uh, with the right uh, concepts once you clear your concepts it will help you lifetime then you don't have to you know uh, rely on any study material like i have cleared my concepts i have done my training from some other institute now it's very clear that i'm giving training to all of you so if you also want to clear your concepts, you have to find the right mentor, at least in the beginning. And after that, once you have some experience, then you can learn or en enhance your skills more by study material or uh, online watching online videos. To answer your question right now is, it's all up to you whether you want to have this course or not. If you want to clear your concepts, then it's good to learn through this platform. And then uh, the next question is, uh, I'm an iOS developer and I want to switch to Salesforce. What kind of things I need for preparation? 
Yes. So if you are a iOS developer and if you want to switch to Salesforce, then uh, what preparation you need is you first have to uh, learn the admin course. After that, you can go for development as you're already a developer. So choosing Salesforce development would be the best option for you. So you can definitely learn this, uh, go through this admin course first and then learn development. And then you can opt for Salesforce development. Your uh, experience will not be considered into the Salesforce, but still you will get a better package. What If you want to switch into iOS only, you will not get that much package, which you will get as a Salesforce developer with this experience, which you have an iOS developer. So of course you can switch to Salesforce anytime. Yeah, hello, Apuro, ma'am. Yes. Uh, ma'am, I have a query. Mm -hmm. So uh, I I was completing my uh, MTech uh, post-graduation in 2014. Mm -hmm. So from uh, since 2014 till right now, I'm working as an assistant professor, some mm -hmm. engineering college. Mm -hmm. And also, I'm from Hyderabad. Okay. Yeah. So I'm I'm uh, I'm switching to uh, IT industry. So can you suggest me the process if I get the IT in, if if I survive in the IT industry with the I don't have any uh, uh, IT experience. I have a only teaching experience. So mm -hmm. what is the process for for uh, getting a, a sales force? Yeah. Yes. So the process, there is no such process, you know, getting entry into IT industry and especially in Salesforce is very easy. You just have to learn Salesforce, attend this course. And after that, um, Webshala will definitely guide you forward. And because as they mentioned that they have tie ups with some other companies, they only will refer you to the companies. You just have to enhance your skills, learn and clear the interview. And then you will be able to get the entry into this IT. So that's the process. Okay, ma'am, but I have a long gap, uh, ma'am. So See, from it doesn't matter. In the beginning of the session, only I said that even if you have a career gap or okay. you don't have any technical background, Salesforce okay. is still the best platform for you. You just have okay. to make sure that you give you hundred percent to learn this. That's it. Mm -hmm. If you if you enhance your skills, then nobody can stop you to grow in Salesforce. There is no um, prerequisite which is required to get the entry into Salesforce. Even if you have okay. career, yep, nobody is going to ask you that why you want to switch to Salesforce. Because Salesforce is growing so vast, they need thousands of employees on a daily basis. This is how the market is growing. Yeah, okay, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. No problem. You're welcome. So I can see that most of the uh, questions are related to this only that you are doing something else and now you want to switch to Salesforce. So whether I will be able to do it. So to answer all of these questions in one sentence is guys, yes, you will be able to do it. I've seen people, I've trained people who are not from a technical background, but still they are learning Salesforce and they have got the jobs as well into Salesforce and they are quite happy with it. So Salesforce is something which you will be able to learn very easily. And then you will, of course, get the money also based on Salesforce um, packages, which we have in the market. So whoever wants to switch to Salesforce, or whoever has asked these kind of questions, uh, this is the same answer for everyone. If you have uh, industrial sales experience or you're working as business analyst, lots of people have mentioned that they have uh, experience into different industry and now they want to switch to Salesforce. So yeah, this is why we have this webinar in place that whether you are a fresher or you have a lot of experience, you can definitely switch to Salesforce. And once you start learning it, and uh, you will see the packages out there, you will not regret your decision of switching to Salesforce from your uh, prior experience. Let me see if there is other uh, question. Okay, someone has asked Salesforce starting package which Abhishek has already mentioned. Now, which certification you pro provide, provide global or institutional? So this is going to be an institutional certification guys for admin and Salesforce certifications. That is a separate platform, which you have to do it. So we can uh, provide you training for certification as well. That's not a problem. But you will have to clear it on from your site. Webstala will not provide you the admin or any Salesforce uh, global certification. That's a separate thing. 
but providing you experience and that is uh, going to be very helpful for you because i've seen people who are struggling they know salesforce they have learned salesforce but they are not getting jobs because of uh, zero experience so if you have any internship also so this is definitely going to make you stand different from other candidates who are trying to find the jobs in salesforce okay what other questions what about placement someone has asked so i think abhishek has already answered that they have a tie up with some uh, good reputed firms where they will be referring you and uh, you guys can crack the interview and based on your skills you will be placed so placement is also included in this course ah uh, purva ma'am yes ma'am i have a one uh, one more query sure ma'am uh, i i heard that uh, i heard that more number of people so uh, are planning to uh, shift to salesforce mm -hmm. okay. so salesforce is uh, right now is demanding uh, uh, is a thing so mm -hmm. what was the future ma'am everybody was uh, getting into salesforce then what was the future uh, about salesforce see so, if everyone is getting salesforce so salesforce is going to grow more because when i started with salesforce there was very less number of employees and when i got salesforce nobody knew it that salesforce is going to grow a lot into uh, future right now you know i'll give you example of instagram whatsapp and facebook the more the users are increasing the more they are making their revenue their business right so the more employees will work into salesforce the more it will grow the more it will expand so the future is definitely safe okay ma'am do you think that uh, facebook and uh, whatsapp and instagram is going to go anywhere yes, whole yes, public yes. will panic right yes not at all but uh, salesforce is demanding yeah, so yeah. more number of employees are working in salesforce sorry your voice is not audible i am uh, uh, i i i my my doubt was clear ma'am thank you okay Cool. Guys, you can also ask your questions. If I have uh, missed something on chat, please ask me directly. Yeah, someone has asked if I have engineer background, two thousand fourteen past, and want to switch to IT. Can I make sales course? Yes, of course you can. I recently trained a person who has, uh, uh, who is. Uh, 2014 passed out and she has learned salesforce and looking for job right now so she is clearing interviews also and hopefully in one or two days she will get the job so yes you can switch to it any other question do you provide place on insurance okay that i've already answered i'm working on salesforce ticketing where we can find kbs and ticketing too how is it different from admin okay so um ticketing is something which salesforce has uh, integrated so whoever has asked this question i just want to check with them if they are uh, working on salesforce platform or they have or they are using some uh, different ticketing tool or is it the salesforce platform on which this ticketing tool is because if it is a different platform okay let me unmute Yeah, hi, ma'am. Kuldeep, this side. Yes, Kuldeep. I asked that question, so uh, I would like to tell you that uh, we are working on Salesforce ticketing, uh, where we used to create the ticket and we have the KB KB articles available mm -hmm. for the for our clients. Mm -hmm. So we used to find that information, and there we we have admin also, where we can like pull out the reports of the. Agent to allow them things like that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, are you also working on those tickets where customers are raising cases like uh, they are not able to uh, do yes. anything in Salesforce or like that, right? Yes. What kind of tickets you're work working on? Email tickets as well. Email ticket. Email ticket. Yes, yeah, so this is uh, not a different thing from Airpin, but that's that is the basic. Because even I started my career with Salesforce support only. I worked in Salesforce uh, ticketing system okay. for Salesforce uh, for two years, and then I promoted to Salesforce admin. So this is not a uh, different. It's a part of admin, but 
there is i can say if i have to talk about the ratio ticketing will um, give you only 10% of salesforce knowledge rest 90% is salesforce admin so that's how it is okay so admin part will cover which part like uh, rest uh, ticketing is uh, ticketing is so more, ticketing, uh, ticketing what is not time? yeah ticketing is not a part of core admin ticketing is something which you are doing for your customers but you are not actually working in their live or live mm-hmm. salesforce org so you have to learn the live salesforce admin okay. so that instead of uh, working on tickets you can be the salesforce admin and you can directly uh, talk to your customers and uh, work in their live salesforce org ticketing is completely a different um, profile though it's in salesforce but admin you will still have to learn okay like in jira we have uh, different things i had worked on jira also jira and confluence mm-hmm. so we used to link our jira tickets with the email combination with the microsoft teams and aws part was also there that we need to create the cloud based support so in salesforce also are we going to a similar way or is it different see i have also worked on jira so uh, for jira we have different platforms and um, uh, salesforce jira is also not a part of admin admin we have uh, totally different so what profile you are working on is more of uh, salesforce technical side and salesforce admin is something where you will be able to work directly with your um, customers in their live org so the profile which right now you're working on where you're creating jiras and uh, that is more of business analysis side so you for that also you will have to le- learn salesforce yes. uh, admin and then you can opt for a business analyst profile keeping your prior experience okay yeah but you will still have to learn admin okay thank you thank you admin may basically like coding required hai ya fir aur uske alawa kya hoga coding admin mein to kya cheeze cover rahengi admin in admin uh, you have automations workflows lead management case management basically sales cloud and service cloud these two things will be covered into admin lead management campaign management okay. product management creating uh, automations reports dashboards analytics all these things will be included so let me show you the course also of admin if you want to take a look so it will maybe answer your uh, query okay. yeah so all these things which you see it on the excel are part of salesforce admin introduction how to create salesforce org and how to create users configuration because it is start it is the basic so whenever you will be a developer you should know these things first otherwise unless you create uh, users in your org you won't be able to write the code also so you have to be in salesforce so assigning salesforce access then you have security model IP restrictions, object access. You have data management also. Okay. Reports, dashboards, process automation, workflows, process builder, Lightning App Builder is there if you have heard about it. So there is a lot of things available. Case management mm-hmm. will be covered in Salesforce uh, admin. You have data management, data loader, data import, data. Dashboard also there. Mm-hmm. Dashboards are also uh, also there. Like if client asks for any particular mm-hmm. the dashboard that he would like to have, then dash dashboard creations are also there. Okay, I understood your okay. job profile. I've right. done that for some time. So that is that means you are doing uh, Salesforce in chunks and pieces as of now. So you know little bit, but you can. Mm-hmm. enhance your skills and learn the remaining things also which you are not doing as a part of your ticketing system okay all right okay uh, can you repeat what are the package details 
So package details, okay, let me show you that. Okay, someone has asked me that I'm a fresher and I'll join your course and you'll make sure that I'll be able to do work on Salesforce. So yes, that's my first, uh, uh, you know, priority that whoever joins not only my course, but whoever mentor you choose. So they will make sure that you learn Salesforce. Otherwise, my efforts and your efforts both will be wasted because even I am working as a full-time uh, uh, Salesforce lead somewhere and I am on the top of my nine hour shift I am giving time to train you guys so it is I'm putting my efforts too and as well as you are also putting efforts so as a teacher or as a mentor we always want our students to be successful and achieve their goals then then only we will be satisfied that whatever we have delivered it has reached to the goal so definitely I'm going to try my best and I'll make sure that you're able to learn Salesforce. And uh, it's not uh, a hard and fast tool because it's, it's going to be a live interactive class. If you're not able to understand the topic, you can ask me then and there. I'll explain you 10 times also if required, but I'll make sure that uh, the things are, uh, you know, stored into your brain for the lifetime, not for only to get the job. You will even, I, even if I ask you anything about Salesforce after 10 years, um you will be able to explain things to someone that's how i you know uh, put the topic because i share with the live examples of uh, real real life that's how you will be able to understand the concepts so i'll make sure that you are able to learn salesforce i want to sell salesforce crm if you want to sell your salesforce crm you will have to get in touch with the account executive how many days placement interview opportunity will be given after two months course completion? Okay, I think Abhishek can answer that question. Yeah, so here every time uh, actually we have our openings, okay, like still we have opening more than like uh, 250 openings only for Salesforce we have. Okay, so until you not get the job, uh, we uh, uh, continue supplying your application towards our client companies. And uh, yeah, and it's just not like we also apply, you also have to apply parallelly. Why? Because the main uh, uh, point is your job. Okay, if we both apply like parallelly, so you're also getting the job calls, and from our end, also you're getting the job calls. So until you not get the job, you have to continue giving your interviews in this. Yeah, thank you, Abhishek. So that's the answer to your question. And uh, I also have some uh, contacts. So as a trainer also, I can uh, uh, help you. I'll see your skills. And based on that, I can also refer you to some of my contacts also. So don't worry about the job. If you know that you have learned Salesforce very well, you will definitely be able to get the options because there are lots of jobs in the Salesforce ecosystem. Millions of jobs are there. Someone is still asking that is Webshala providing uh, admin and Salesforce dev certification? So to answer this question, uh, if no, Webshala will not provide you admin and Salesforce. In fact, no institute can provide you these certificates. This, these are the certificates which you will be given by Salesforce directly. Preparation, we can definitely help you with. We can help you to prepare your uh, admin uh, certification and development certification, but no, they cannot provide you the certification directly. It will be from Salesforce itself. Yeah, sorry to interrupt you to Purva. Actually, yeah. we pr don't provide Salesforce global certificate, mm -hmm. but we're going to give you the course completion certificate. Yes. Okay. And uh, Webshala is a CPD certified company. CPD is the world largest accreditation firm based in London. Okay, so we are a CPD member also. So whatever certificate we are also give, going to give you, that uh, going to work in all, across the world. You know, you can use those like post completion certificate. Okay, across the world. But uh, like you, if you are asking like global certificate, that Salesforce company are only going to give you guys. Clear. Thank you, Abhishek. 
Someone has asked this question, uh, what will be the average salary a Salesforce developer can get for fresh? So it actually uh, varies from company to company, but it starts from uh, five to six lakhs. Okay, if uh, any uh, question is remaining, uh, just please, uh, uh, you can ask me directly. Someone has raised their hand. I'm not sure if it's by mistake. Uh, someone Galaxy Note 9. Uh -huh. Uh, there is their end. So you can ask any question if you have. Yeah, hi, I would say. Hi, Apurva. Hello. Yeah, so uh, basically, my major concern here is regarding, as I say, told us that uh, the course computation certificate that Webzilla will provide to uh, us. So, how it is so relevant to the uh, interviewer when they, you know, check with the certification and uh, apart from this as a presser let like someone is going forward so what is the means uh, how important for the you know training period and what is the course certification mean to the interviewer yeah so guys with that like uh, in any of you will be get course completion certificate with that you will be get one more certificate that's an internship certificate okay so mm -hmm. uh, like uh, internship certificate work more why because that will be going as experience okay so you can show you work some of our salesforce project as a mm -hmm. in a real time scenario okay so that will definitely going to work once you go for that okay so internship experience uh, in any company if you apply with your internship experience that will give the more advantage who going to apply just as a fresher okay so your resume value is much higher than as a fresher guy okay so uh, you know moving forward the same point internship part so during the course of two two months i suppose so mm -hmm. within a two months uh, Apart from the training course, you guys are also mm -hmm. providing the internship program, right? If I'm uh, not wrong. No, in this, no, no, it's not separate. It's a part of the program only. Okay, why? Because that's a two months of live training program. Okay, with mm -hmm. that, you will get every device assignments for your project work. Okay, so we're just not going to calculate the live training time. We're also going to calculate whatever assignment we're going to give you, how much time you're going to expend there. Okay, so we're going to add those time also. And if we calculate that, so total intensive timing will be near six months to one year it will become, okay? So, uh, no, what, I, I, uh, what, what I'm not able to get it here, Abhishek. So let's mm -hmm. suppose if I'm going to join with the sales uh, admin and sales for developer at courses. So mm -hmm. over there, the live classes will be for the two months where the live mm -hmm. assignments will be given to us based upon the uh, class discussion, right? Correct, correct, correct. So that basically coming once the Twitter will going to a trainer will be completed a certain topic, then they give you some assignment. Let's example, they have, uh, you know, mm -hmm. uh, provide a certain assignment mm -hmm. like uh, for X, Y, D, this. So that thing will be done to that to the date. But my point here is as a, mm -hmm. you know, uh, once we done with that part, so mm -hmm. what about the intensive which we are talking regarding the other companies they are providing the internships real time internships in which we yes. are basically enrolled and completed that that thing i okay. just need to understand obviously. yeah okay got it once course is over okay so once we assign the project to you guys okay so uh like once we assign the project you have to work on the, those projects okay and uh it's not like a separately it will be go. It's go parallel, like classes is go parallel and your project is going parallel with that, okay? So whatever work you're going to do into the like live project, okay? That we calculate as an internship part, okay? And uh, in this, like uh, once class is finished, once we provide you the project summary, okay? Once uh, you will be get that, go through the project summary, you can understand like, 
how our projects are working okay and according to that you can create your own project and uh, whatever timing you're going to expand there okay we uh, for that we're going to give you the intensive certificate so you are saying ki uh, parallelly with the training program you are also mm-hmm. providing some project yes correct so that project is basically assigned by websala or by some other third party company it can be both like uh, we have a different uh, you know tires who, uh, mm-hmm. who provide the project to us as well as webshala mm-hmm. we are also using the sales for crm inside our company okay so we mm-hmm. can show like you work some of our projects only so now talking about the project part mm-hmm. uh, just need to understand one more thing i'm really sorry i'm taking so long not an issue not an issue not an issue yeah you can ask okay. so just want to clear one more thing so let's suppose mm-hmm. if you are doing some project so because mm-hmm. see, uh, this is a completely new to those person who's coming from the non tech background right mm-hmm. so they mm-hmm. required somehow some assistance on that for and trainer is there yeah and the twitter timing is certain like like 9 to 10 mm-hmm. or one hour time will be specific for that mm-hmm. they will be no no they will not going to entertain us for the other thing so yes, just yes. want to know let's suppose if anyone is yeah like me also required any certain assistance regarding mm-hmm. the project work so how mm-hmm. can we can approach some people who can help me is there anyone who's there can help me or based mm-hmm. upon your class work assignment we have to go through the project by your by our own okay let me tell you so uh, our app i think we shared the app link okay so we have a web app and mobile app both okay so suppose you starting work in any project and you need someone help okay so there is a one option talk to your tutor okay so mm-hmm. you have to just drop a message okay once tutor is free okay then she will reply there and with that we have a one whatsapp group okay at a time of assignment mm-hmm. suppose if you getting any doubt or any difficulty you just put message in into the whatsapp group okay and once tutor read those you know your doubt and all they drop mm-hmm. the answer or either they can call you directly and they can explain you the things okay or one more thing like one uh, uh, sorry for the interruption i was like so uh, you are you saying twitter will call us directly no no uh, the through that like uh, in our app okay there is all the option okay there is mm-hmm. assignment option there is a project option there is like uh, if if you like install and go through you will be get all the option inside your badges okay so there is one option talk to your tutor okay in a chat mm-hmm. okay so if you are getting any difficulty or in related to a project you can drop uh, that you know doubt into the chat section and tutor will read that and they explain you the answer inside the chat only okay or so in a next chat chat that is available in case in sort yes. of any doubt we can yes hello hello yes am i visible yes yeah 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 sorry you're yeah. audible yeah so chat option is available inside the app only talk to your tutor okay so basically the chat option is uh, depends upon the twitter or uh, you know yes. whoever, whoever twitter is going to assign you that twitter uh-huh. is going to help you out okay so that is uh, clear to me from my side now uh, mm-hmm. just want to clear one more thing apurva can you please help me regarding the uh, let's suppose someone is from the sales background they are doing sales like me i am doing sales in the travel industry from the last 4 5 years now i just need to understand how important the sales for crm as a travel uh, industry domain mm-hmm. yeah so to answer this question um as i said that uh, all the industry can use salesforce there is no uh, specific industry who cannot use salesforce because salesforce can be customized to whatever extent you want to customize it so example if you are working mm-hmm. into travel industry so you can customize this uh, mm-hmm. salesforce uh, based on your industry but do you want to use salesforce right. for uh, your industry or you want to work with other industry clients also it's up to you because salesforce other, other. other industries also yeah so it doesn't matter what industry you're working in right now because whatever your prior experience is salesforce training is uh, same for all the industries so after that uh, once you learn uh, salesforce you will be able to use it for any other industry also you will be able mm-hmm. to do it by yourself only 
so be it travel industry there are i'll share some examples also once you start the course um, that uh, how, how travel agencies or how travel industry is using salesforce there are lots of people who are using salesforce from this industry so what about something somewhere i heard about the velo velocity yes so is it uh, what exactly it is i need to understand can you please help me yes so it is a part of development course only and it is a separate platform so mm -hmm. once you understand uh, admin and you learn development you will be able to be a velocity developer just like we have force.com a separate platform right. and uh, we have a separate uh, so force.com is like a uh, pass pas yes correct okay so similar it is velocity versus yes right so velocity is basically platform. for the travel okay so it is basically for the travel domain specific or how no it's not it specific is? to uh, one particular industry it can be used by any mm -hmm. industry okay i got it so uh, now uh, someone is basically from the non tech so coming to the second part of the question so uh, how much challenging is them to understand the you know logical part of that particular you know coding java and everything is there as a you know non tech guy do you think that they can do something great and in terms of developer what's your suggestion i just want to understand yeah sure so coding is something which is uh, totally depends which totally depends on your interest if you have interest in coding uh, then you can go for it but if you don't want to uh, be a developer there are different profiles also which i explained you can after learning admin you can be a consultant or a business mm -hmm. analyst and uh, you can customize you can be a different uh, you can opt for a different profile also of salesforce if you don't want so to learn coding the profile, uh, so, so sorry for the interruption so regarding the profile i just need to figure out that suppose i am very good in admin part right i just know i do you know lot of thing regarding the administrative part now i have a good uh, knowledge so what next what will be the best for me to moving forward to go you know certain you are say you said as you said for the business analytics one thing is there apart from this you are talking about the exec uh, executive or consultant right so what is the roles and responsibilities of the consultant and the uh, business analytics okay so being a salesforce admin uh, what you will do is you will help your clients to uh, you know make salesforce smooth for them for example if there are system admins who are working or there are sales reps who are using salesforce so you need to make sure that leads are working good for them and if they are getting some error while converting lead you need to troubleshoot that why they are getting error so as an admin you will do all that stuff but as a consultant right. you will work with different uh, industry clients like right now for example i am a consultant and you are my client who is from travel industry mm -hmm. now i will sit with you mm -hmm. understand your business mm -hmm. and uh, after you have salesforce i will customize salesforce based on your industry so you will tell me that i have uh, these i have uh, this kind of business i run my travel agency like this and i have some travelers uh, which i maintain my data like this and this that so i will give you a uh, salesforce in that way for example uh, webshala is using salesforce so they must have customized salesforce in that way so that mm -hmm. they are organizing this whole learning platform into salesforce so as a consultant they must have hired a consultant too so as a consultant uh, it's our job to give salesforce and build it as per the business so understanding business requirement of your uh, clients and then implementing mm -hmm. into salesforce it's a part of consultant so here it is in in this case the company should have actually the salesforce crm pre existing crm to the company and we the company will recruit me as a consultant to work for them and customize their crm exactly. am i right yes correct okay i got it uh, so this is uh, i think uh, <laughs> all i all about that i want to understand regarding this and uh, i really thank you about <laughs> to making the things very clear and uh, abhishek also thank you so much for your time so if anything will be comes up then i will definitely reach to you guys sure, thank you time. thank you thank you for your yeah. time as well anyone else ask want to ask any question
Yeah, so someone is asking if you don't have development knowledge also, that is okay, because we start from basic. Okay, you have answered this question. So we don't have any other questions remaining, Abhishek. Okay, so guys, we can wrap up or if anyone have, uh, they can ask. Hello, sir. I have one query. Mm -hmm. Your so wife what, is not coming. Yeah, what about uh, coding level in a developer? Uh, it's for developer now. It's a heavy coding or basic coding method. Okay, so um, Apex and Java is uh, used into uh, Salesforce coding. So I cannot um, tell you the exact uh, uh, level, but it's an advanced level of coding. It's not, it's a part, it's a combination of uh, C and C++, if you must have heard about Java. So Salesforce is using uh, Java and uh, Apex language for their coding. Okay, ma'am. Yeah. But the thing is, there. See, uh, you and uh, pre if, if you asking for the pre requesting uh, request is like uh, you required any coding knowledge or not. So, oops, uh, actually, oops concept is working here. Okay, uh, suppose if you don't have any kind of knowledge in a coding and programming, don't worry. Why? Because we're going to start from a very stretch level. Okay, so first we start with the Apex. Okay, the Apex is the programming language. Uh, what Salesforce are using into the Salesforce, okay? And it's not big like a Java or Python. Why? Because it's just used into the Salesforce platform, okay? So Apex is a very small library if you compare with the Java or Python, okay? And for learning wise, it's uh, uh, like very good. Like, and it's a very easy also. It's not like much stuff. Why? Because similar like kind of coding in, a, uh, in this you have to do everywhere, okay? So if you don't have any knowledge, don't worry why, because we're going to start from everything from a scratch only. Okay. Thank you. Sir. Yeah. Anyone else or everything is clear? Okay, someone is saying global certification, certificate also provide. It's actually not possible for any institute to provide global certificate because Salesforce has a pattern uh, and it will be provided directly to Salesforce website only. Nobody can, that, uh, yeah. Yeah, sorry to interrupt. For that actually guys, you have to give the separate exam, okay? And uh, we even going to help you out how to collect the global certificate from r and itself, okay? Clear? Cool. Okay. All right. I think okay. we're good to go for today. So yeah, so we I think we have to wrap up. Okay. Mm -hmm. So whatever doubt you have, okay, I'll open the uh, WhatsApp group uh, chat section for everyone. So whatever doubt you have, guys, you can ask there. Okay. Okay. So yeah. So Apurva, Purva, sorry, you can wrap up the class and thanks for your time. Okay. And whatever doubt they have, you can resolve them into the WhatsApp group only. Sure. Okay. Sure. Thank you. Thank you Thanks so much have for your time. Day. Thanks, Purva. Have a bye good bye. day. Yeah. Bye bye. I'm sorry. Do we have a recording system under here? Uh, yes, yes, we do have recording. Okay, it's Mandar. Hi, Mandar. Hi, hi. I'm so sorry. I just got in late and missed the purpose. Okay, okay. I'll I'll share the recording on WhatsApp. Sure. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.